Hi everybody, today I will show you how to edit Astro theme with Elementor. So let's just begin. Alright, so to edit the Astro theme with Elementor, first of all, we have to install the Astro theme. Okay, so for that, we would simply go inside the appearance and in the appearance, we will simply click on themes. As you can see here, the Astro theme is installed on my WordPress. But if you haven't installed the Astro theme, all you need to do is to click on add new here. And here, you just have to write down astro all right so as you can see here that astro team is already installed all i need to do is to click on the activate okay so to use the templates of the astro team i have to go inside the plugin and click on the add new okay so here you just have to write down astro starter and you will be able to see the starter templates here so let's click on the update because i have already installed this okay so the starter template is installed on our WordPress. So now what I need to do, I have to activate this. So let's click on install plugins. Okay, so here what I need to do, let's click on the activate here. And then what we need to do, we have to select the page builder here, which is in our case Elementor. All right, so as you can see here that we have the bunch of different templates here. So we can simply pick any template from here. Okay, so I'll simply go here with this one. This is looking great. And here I can simply upload my logo if I want to upload it. I'll simply click here and then. And I can simply pick my logo from the media library. Or if you haven't uploaded your logo yet, you simply go inside the upload files. And from here you can simply upload your logo. Okay, but if you don't have the logo, you can simply go here with the template logo at the moment. So let's click on skip and continue. Okay, so these are the default colors and the default fonts. So if you want to change it, you can do it from here. But right now, I'll simply keep the default values here. Click on the continue now. Click on the submit and build my website. All right, so our website is ready. So now we can have a look at our website. So let's click on view your website. All right, so as you can see here that our website is ready here. So how can we customize this with Elementor? That is really easy. Let's just click on edit with Elementor. All right, so as you can see here, we are inside the Elementor editor. So from here, I can simply customize the template here. Okay, so if I just want to change the text here, I'll simply click here. And from here, I can simply add my own text if I want to. And if I just click here, we can do the same thing here as well. Okay, so let's just write down, repeat here. Okay, so that is how it works. And from here, in this style, you can customize the color of the text. You can change the typography of the text. And you can also see the other options here. Okay. In the similar way, if you want to change the image here, you simply click here on the image. And from here, you can simply click on the tools image. And from here, you can simply change the image here. Okay. So you can change it from the upload files. So if you want to upload the image, you can simply do it from here. If you want to select the image with the media library, you can go here. And if you want to use free images, free copyright images, you can simply uh, choose it from the free images here. Okay. So let's just close this at the moment. And in the similar way, we can customize the button. So let's click on the button here. And from here, you can change the text. And from here, we can add the link to our button. You can see we have the alignment, we have the size, we have the icon, and icon is spacing. And after that, if you want to do the changes in the styling of the button, you simply click on the style. And from here, you can customize the styling. Okay, so let's try to change the background color of our button. So let's click here. And now you can see this. We can simply change the background color from here. Okay, in a similar way, we can change this text as well. You can change the icon if you want to. Okay, so this is how we can customize our template here. And if you want to add the new section, you simply scroll down. And from here, if you just click here and click on the structure here. So from here, you can simply add the new section. And if you want to add the elements or the block, you simply click here. And from here, you can see this. We can add the heading. We can add the text. We can add the button. So that is how it works. Okay, so let's add the heading here. Okay, and I would actually use the image on the second column. Okay, and now what I need to do, I'll simply add the button here. So this is how we can add the new section in our template here. Okay, so this is how it works. But at the moment, I will simply delete this and now click on update. Okay, so now let's click here and from here, I'll simply click on the view page. And you can see this we are redirected to our website okay so if you want to edit the header here 
So for that, what you need to do, you simply click on the customize. Now to edit the header, I will simply click on the header builder. And in the header builder, as you can see that we have the option of the site title and the logo. If you want to add the logo or if you want to change the logo, you simply click here. And from here, you can simply remove the logo. Or if you want to change it, you can simply do it from here. And you can also see the other options here. Okay, so let's just go back. And here you can see that we have the button that we have here in roll now. So if you want to edit this, you can simply edit it from here. And if you want to edit the primary menu here, so you simply go back here and click on the primary menu. And from here, you can simply configure your menu. Okay, so at the moment, I'll simply close this. And now I would actually like to add a new page here. So how can we do that? We'll simply click on the new here and click on the page here. And from here, we can simply add the title to our page. So let's write down new page here. Now let's click on add it with Elementor. Okay, so from here, we can simply add the things that we want to add on our page. Okay, so for example, if I want to add the heading, I'll simply drag this and put this here. And you can see this, we have the new heading here. So let's just write down new heading. And in the similar way, if you want to add the image, you simply drag the image and put this here. And you will be able to see the image here. Okay, so this is how we can add the content to our new page. So at the moment, I will simply publish this. And let's click on have a look. And now you will be able to see our new page here. Okay. And if you want to edit the footer, you simply click on the customize again. And from there, we can edit our footer. Okay, so now what we need to do, let's click on the footer builder. And from here, as you can see this, we have these elements here. So we can simply edit these elements here. Okay, so let's click on the copyright here. And I can simply change the text here if I want to. Or if I want to remove this, I can also do it here as well. Okay, so let's go back and you can also see we have the social widget 1, 2 and 3. You can also customize these widgets here as well. Okay, so let's click on the social here. And in the social, as you can see, that we have all of these social icons. So if you want to add the social icon, you can add it from here. Or if you want to remove the social icon, you can also do it from here as well. Okay, so let's remove the Twitter here. And you will be able to see that we don't have the Twitter icon at the moment. Okay. And in a similar way, I can add the social icon. So let's click here. And you can see this, we have the Behance icon here. Okay, so this is how we can customize our footer. So let's click on the publish. And let's just close this. Okay, so now if you want to add the new page on the menu here. So for that, what we can do here, we'll simply click on the customize again here. And from here, we simply go inside the header builder. And in the header builder, let's just click on the primary menu. And in the primary menu, we have to click on the configure menu from here. Okay, so from here, you can see this, we have the primary menu. So let's click on the edit menu here. And you can see this, we have this pages on our menu bar. So let's click on the add items. Okay, so from here, as you can see the option of the pages here. So as we know that we have created the new page here. So let's click here. And the new page will be added on our primary menu. Okay, so let's click on the publish. Now let's close this. You will be able to see new page on our primary menu here. Okay, so this is how it works and this is how we can edit the Astro theme in the Elementor. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe the channel.